Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this video. Today we will make this like a water kind of uh, bar. So you can change this value to increase or decrease this. See? And we have ton of control here. We can change color and lots of things we can do. Wave height, wave number of wave speed, lots of things we have. So let's start this tutorial. All right, so let's start this. So I'll just right click, make a material and and what I'll do, I'll just make it a flat planar here. I'll choose and then I'll make it unlit. Maybe to flat. First thing we need, uh, we'll take this shape, uh, rounded rectangle. Just connect it here. Then two vector for the size and I'll think 0 0.7, 0 0.05 will be perfect. And then for these, this pinch, I'll just reduce the corner radius. And this is perfect. You can make it maybe 0.8. If you want like almost touching to edge or maybe 0 0.9, whatever you want. Okay, so you have this. Uh, and then first thing what I'll do, this is our mask. Okay, now rest of the thing we will do. So let's say you have a texture coordinate and shift C for the mask. And so I'll take the green channel. If I preview, this is a gradient. And now to offset it, you can subtract value, but we want more control. So I'll take the smooth step. And this should be a value. And then we will make parameters for minimum and for maximum. And maximum should always be greater than the minimum. So I will add these together and then cut. So basically, if you just multiply this mask with a lower value like 0.2, so we can overlap the layers and we can see if both are visible properly. And now you can add the let's saturate and let's add these together. So now we can see this gradient and this shape all together because it has uh, less opacity okay and let's save it and we will check the values in instance then we will put the default values here whatever we will like so i'll just drag it here and right click and make instance open this on the planar open this you can make it down make it fail and now you can see uh, this much i think you can make this like half this much so now you know uh, things how it's going and now instead of adding I will multiply these so this gradient will cut through this shape I can delete these two. okay now if I save and go back to my instance now you can see okay but they should be a full shape also uh, just for the, uh, the like a frame so i will just multiply this again like and let's control the parameter uh, i'll call it frame capacity okay and by default maybe point one and then i'll add back to here save it so now you have this you can decrease it even more maybe point zero two and we can make this sharper or faded and we can make it like this so you have this control to fill it up or not. now we have to make it like a wave because we are making liquid so this is the uvs or my this liquid let's also put the default values so this is my minimum value i'll copy and paste it here and this is my maximum value i'll copy and paste and this is 0 0.02 okay now we, uh, it will be same as here so we can work so now we have to make it wavy and this is the uvs for that for this part this white part so to make it wavy you can take again a texture coordinate or use the same if you want and let's mask uh, this red channel this is graded left right then if I add time and then use a sign, I will have these things moving straps. Cool. And this is like minus to uh, negative to positive. 
okay you can absolute use absolute if you want but i don't want then i will multiply and i'll call it wave height this is wave height i think height swelling is a mistake it's okay so this is wave height by default is zero and i will add this to the uvs of my water my liquid cool and if you increase or decrease the sign value so the thickness uh, the, of these shafts will be changed but you cannot make the parameter of it so for that you can just multiply before the sign so this will be you can call it number of waves cool so now you have number of waves you have height of waves and let's just save and check how it goes so now here if i increase the height of waves you can see and we have to make this real time and now we can decrease it maybe this much and then we have number of waves looks cool right then we have to make the speed of waves so i will multiply the time and call it speed of waves cool or you can say the speed waves by default i'll make it one cool So you have this you can now decrease the speed if you want and number of waves maybe one i think this looks already looking cool so what i'll do this is cutting this whole shape and i want actually this is this should be actually yeah this should be sharper like this then i want little offset so what i'll do I actually I want to duplicate this whole thing. You can make a function, but I'll just duplicate for now just to showcase. And I'll just add two in all parameter because this is my second wave. And let's multiply at the very end. Uh, actually add these together and right now all the values are same let me check how it goes so i'll just increase the number of uh, number of waves number of waves same and then speed is same now the height if i make the same height we will push the same thing uh, but I'll change the number of waves, maybe two. Now it has different flow. And you can, uh, uh, this is actually speed. And you can increase this also. And now I'll make it uh, 5. And height wave 0.01. Now you can see there's a more variation, I think. 1.5. Speed point six point eight point zero one five. So this is how you can make. I'm just showcasing. If I make this zero, this is default. And number of waves are one again. So there is a now variation in it. Now the third thing you can actually fade this from here we want something like a droplets kind of thing so for that we are uh, this is the gradient we are using this one so what i'll do i'll take a noise actually this noise and if i preview and this is the noise we can take the world position multiply for the tile and i'll call it uh drop or you can say bubble bubble tile by default i'll put one so this is i'll increase this size and to make it bubbly what we can do turn off the turbulence make it a uh, warnoy and make it minimum maximum zero to one 
and reduce the levels of detail this one so it will be round shape cool you can of course invert it to make it white these things okay now you can add here and then you can use smooth step again And now I'll put the different names for this. Oops, what I just did. I need actually just maximum two. I'll call it minimum two and maximum two, which is for my drops. And we have also tile for drop. So let's save it for now and let's check how it goes. Yeah, so first thing. These are the, we have to use this minimum 2 and maximum 2. Bubble tile, let's make it 5 or maybe 10. So it's smaller. Then we have this minimum maximum. So I will increase the maximum. This, yeah. See. And I'll also make this one fading. And instead of adding, I will actually multiply this bubble thing. So instead of this, I will multiply because this should cut out. Let me save. Yeah. So now I will use this. And now you can see what is happening. And we can also this much. You can make this kind of thing. And you can also use the power here to just decrease this. Or you can also do one thing. If I just show you. This is the thing we have, but it has most of the sub white area. So I'll just go to minimum to minus one again. So it will be because we are inverting. So let's make a parameter for power just to control. One last thing I'll do here. This bubble should go up. So I will just multiply it with actually I will add time multiply three vector because this is uh, 3d noise and i'll just want going upward so if i preview here this will go up okay so let me save it and now here we have this power we can increase We can use a little bit and we have the tile. Where is the tile bubble tile? So yeah, now you can see we have this thing. I think you don't need much, but little bit. Cool. Now we can and we have this parameter which is just making it up and down. Just you have to set your settings, nothing else. Yeah. So now I'll just make it blue, first of all. Here. Color. By default, it's blue. Yeah, and we have the color parameter so we can make it darker or lighter, whatever we want. So it's animating, but now I want to like uh, fade it from uh, dissolve it from one side. So 
because this minimum value you will see 0.4 means this height if I increase or decrease it, it will change the height so 0.56 is making the height 0 so 0.45 so we can play with this this minimum value the first one this one so what I'll do I'll take a texture coordinate again we have already I'll take this we just need this mask which is gray to black to white and we can use a lerp and use this and instead of this minimum I'll use this and then I'll put minimum here and actually we can call it A and we can take a B so this A and B is our new minimum and I'll put the same value copy and paste Now both side height same but with this A and B if I increase or decrease you can see it's changing like this cool but still if you want like little more control you can use a smooth stab so again we need a smooth stab before lerp so I'll just move it here Again, we need small steps. So I'll just copy this whole thing, paste it here, and then this will be here. This small step actually give you more control. So now we will just call it minimum three. You can put your names properly. I'm just doing it one two three. You can. You can reduce the parameter letter and just put one parameter. This is the rod. Okay. So now three and three. So you can see how it's going. And with the maximum, you can decrease a little bit. And with this, okay, you have to actually make the height like down, like this. And then with minimum, like this. So now with minimum three, we can just go like this. Or maybe a little bit more. And you have lots of parameter you can play with like this power okay I'm not playing with this much now but I just want to give you idea how it's going now you can make frame actual frame around it and I think that will be okay so if I now take this thing copy and paste increase the size little bit maybe 0.9 and this in uh, one point one. And if I preview this, let me see how it looks. Yeah, but it's very sharp. So I'll just the sharpness is twenty. I make this zero, and then I'll take the sign. And if I preview, this will make an outline. Okay, and we can increase the sign now. This thing, sharpness okay then you can add this you can if you want to multiply it with any color you can do it but it will make a border around your effect like this but it's it's big actually you can see so it should be like point uh, what was the value point 0.8 so I'll make this point 0.82 and this was 0 0.05 so 0 0.07 and this was 0 0.05 so 0 0.07 little bit bigger you can put your exact values I'm just showing you how to change the size but you can do better okay so I hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye